Hi, and welcome back to freesciencelessons.co.uk. By the end of this video, you should be able to describe the difference between potable and pure water. You should then be able to describe the steps used to produce potable water from fresh water and from salty water. Now, drinking water is essential for human life, but humans cannot drink any water they find. Drinking water has to have sufficiently low levels of dissolved salts, such as sodium chloride. And drinking water cannot have high levels of microbes, such as bacteria. Now, scientists call water that's safe to drink potable water. And we're going to look at the steps needed to make that in this video. The first key idea is that potable water is not the same as pure water. That's because pure water, in the chemical sense, contains no dissolved substances at all. However, potable water does contain dissolved substances, although in quite small amounts. In the UK, rainwater provides most of our potable water. That's because rainwater contains low levels of dissolved substances. Rainwater collects in the ground in aquifers, and also in lakes, rivers, and in reservoirs. So all of these are good sources of fresh water. So to produce potable water, we first choose a good source of fresh water. For example, a river like this one. We then pass the water through filter beds like these. That's to remove materials such as leaves and suspended particles. Finally, the water is sterilised to kill microbes. In the UK, we use chlorine to sterilise potable water. However, in some parts of the world, ozone or ultraviolet light are used instead. Now, in the UK, we've got access to huge amounts of fresh water, for example, in rivers. Fresh water already has very low levels of dissolved minerals. However, in many places, fresh water is scarce. In these countries, the only available water may be too salty to drink, for example, seawater. Seawater has very high levels of dissolved minerals, so in this case, potable water is produced by desalination. Desalination reduces the levels of dissolved minerals down to an acceptable level for potable water. One way of carrying out desalination is to use distillation, which we looked at in a previous topic. Another way is to pass the water through membranes. This is called reverse osmosis. Both distillation and reverse osmosis reduce the levels of dissolved minerals. However, both processes require very large amounts of energy, which makes them very expensive. Remember, you'll find plenty of questions on potable water in my revision workbook, and you can get that by clicking on the link above. 